This is the 8th and 18th of December 2024. We're at Vincent Corporation. This press was tested briefly with a very abrasive material. Uh, you can see the sort of fiber that was being run. Knowing that it was abrasive, we had our standard hard surfacing on this screw. It came back. We cleaned it up, just wiped it with a rag. And now we're applying the uh, Techno Tungsten Carbide Hard Surfacing. We're going to make this one extremely abrasion resistant, uh, which is required for this particular application. Okay, yeah, go ahead and light it. Oh. Notice your thumb or finger working the uh, powder. Notice the temperature of the plate. Notice she's working on a vertical surface, applying it to a vertical surface. This is the application where we're uh, uh, restoring a worn screw that is here. You can see the how the edges have been built up with weld material to get the diameter uh, bigger. Okay, we're gonna show how she goes about fixing this thing. She's putting some xylene. I think that's our paint thinner. To uh, uh, clean up uh, the surface where she's going to apply the tungsten carbide powder puddle applied hard surfacing. Sí, lo queremos poner ahí adentro también.
What happened? Um, a little bit of the crystallized energy like jumped on the tip. Uh huh. Here we have a screw that has uh, received the initial coating of hard surfacing and um, then it has been to machining. Notice that the initial coating doesn't go all the way out and now we are going to get the coating all the way out to the very tip of the flight. Have to heat up the surface, and there you see sparks where some uh, powder is applied. The neat thing about this hard surfacing is we can get it right out to the edge of the flight without going past the edge. Notice how much, how smooth this has gone on. This other same hard surfacing is much more rippled, and that's because it was applied over a very rough surface of previous hard surfacing. So here we get the advantage of putting the material on a smooth surface. We're here in the assembly department, and you can see two screws that have already had this hard surfacing applied and uh, you see the smooth surface that I talked about and uh, and how the it's rougher over a previous coating of uh, hard surfacing. We're just adding some hard surfacing where we really need it. The uh, light had been trimmed away at that point and uh, if it's too thick we will simply grind a little material off that resistor tooth that I'm focused on right there. Also, that tooth turns towards us as it rotates, so I want hard surfacing on that edge she's getting ready to do now. That way the hard surfacing will be doing the cutting or pushing through the fiber.